Welcome to Cayuga Creators Workshop. We began our STEAM program three years ago with a vision. We wanted to create a special place where our students can come to be designers, artists, coders, engineers, and problem solvers. We wanted to design a space like no other in our building where students can create, build, collaborate, and persevere. We are so happy that our vision has become a reality. Our new workshop will offer flexible seating, which will allow students to work in small groups while sharing ideas and becoming makers. Students will now be part of a true maker space where they will learn and follow the engineering and design process to plan, design, create prototypes, and present final products. Our new coding corner has alternative seating where students will create projects using Scratch Junior and Scratch coding programs, as well as having the opportunity to use block coding to code robots and using code to create their very own inventions. Our Makerspace cart gives students everything they need to put their STEAM skills in action in one mobile cart. Packed with everything they need from tools, motors, gears, LED bulbs, and wood supplies, this cart gives us an instant makerspace to start creating. The Lego wall will be a big hit with all of our students, big and small. The wall will offer a great opportunity for students to collaborate and communicate while they are tinkering, making, and doing. We are so excited to get started in our new space and to share this space with our students. It is definitely a special place where students will have the chance to think outside the box and challenge themselves every time they walk through the door. The DePew Technology and Engineering Department would like to highlight a few major accomplishments that we are proud of. Mr. Ray Cooper and Mr. Charles Bonda presented our high school project Lead the Way program for the Western New York STEM Hub. Mr. Nolan presented how to implement STEAM on our budget with our sixth grade science teacher, Mr. Helms, at the Western New York STEM Conference held at Hilbert College over the summer to educators from across Western New York. It's not just our teachers that are sharing our knowledge of STEAM. Our high school project Lead the Way students also presented the record-shattering trebuchet design at the Buffalo Museum of Science. Their design launched a pumpkin a whopping 687 feet, shattering the record that they had held before. DePew Schools has emerged as a STEAM leader in Western New York. Other districts have reached out to us to come in for a visitation to see all the wonderful STEAM things we are doing across the district. 75% of the Technology Education Department has been or is currently a New York State Master Teacher. As a result, we have held monthly New York State Master Teacher Professional Learning Team meetings on our campus. This allows for high quality professional development and collaboration of ideas from some of the best STEAM minds in New York State to take place here, thus giving us another reason to show off all the wonderful things that are happening in Depew. Through field trips, career days, and competitions against other schools from across Western New York, Depew is also represented out of the classroom and literally out of this world. As part of the Student Space Flight Experiment Program we participated in this past year, a freshman Project Lead the Way student utilized the design process learned in class to design a mission patch that was flown to the International Space Station aboard a SpaceX rocket, spending a month orbiting the Earth. This past November, Mr. Nolan was fortunate enough to attend the New York State Association for Computers and Technologies and Education Conference, or NiceGate, in Rochester, New York. We were made aware of these Hummingbird Robotics Kits. In our opinion, these kits exemplify what STEAM education really is. The kits allow our students to code using various free software to bring their creations to life. Students have to design and build their own creations from scratch. This allows the students to become real-life problem solvers and builders. Unlike a majority of STEAM robotic kits available where students are simply putting together something following directions, our students are required to design and program their entire creation from start to finish. In Mr. Helms' sixth grade science classes, an aquaponics setup has been built for his sixth graders to grow plants with the goal of teaching them a new approach to farming. The goal is to produce lettuce and herbs for students to cook with in family and consumer science. They will be experimenting with different variables that control the speed at which the plants grow. For example, lighting conditions, nutrient load, or maybe water flow. This year, the science department is offering three science courses for college credit. College chemistry, anatomy and physiology, and AP biology. With over 65 students taking at least one science course for college credit, 
that represents nearly 25% of juniors and seniors enrolled in a college level science course. Some of our AP students have been using stop motion technology to demonstrate different scientific processes. Here they're using everyday materials to demonstrate how the sodium potassium pump moves ions across a membrane. And here students are demonstrating how an enzyme can change shape when heat is applied. In both videos, students use chalk markers to draw and write directly on the lab tables in the classroom. Last school year, science teacher Jim Helms and technology teacher Aaron Nolan teamed up to help students write a proposal for a science experiment to be tested in the International Space Station. Their goal was to find out if the germination time of strawberries was affected by the lack of gravity. For middle school deal days, the science and technology clubs joined their groups together to create cornhole boards with students. The boards were completely built and painted by the students and then sold to support the student council. The middle school has adopted new curriculum this year to help them align with the New York State science learning standards. Lab Aids is a hands-on science learning experience with literacy mixed into every lesson. Here students are completing their moon phase assignment. The DePue Art Department is on a pathway to innovation. We have been thrilled to have had the opportunity to expand our STEAM endeavors over the past few years with a focus on digital media and cross-curricular collaborations. We have been active participants in planning our district's theme nights, showcasing our student talents across Western New York in various photography shows, college exhibits, and environmentally focused art competitions. As teachers, we have sought out conferences that emphasize the importance of the A in STEAM. We attended NiceGate, NYSADA, the Digital Wave, and a three-day STEAM-intensive Creative Technologies Bootcamp this summer at the Columbia Teachers College. While there, we studied coding, engraving, 3D printing, modeling, and circuitry. These themes covered will perfectly relate to our graphic design, photography, and careers courses, preparing our students for the future. Our desire to make the ordinary extraordinary has led to the development of many projects utilizing recycled materials. In the classroom, we have used everything from wire hangers to pop cans and Pringles cans to build creatures from our imaginations. Krista Tabak Sculpture Class has submitted award-winning collaborative works as part of the We Are the Solution to Plastic Pollution project. Likewise, Lori Bogdan and students created a rain barrel for the Erie County Environment and Planning Department's annual contest, where they placed second. These projects allow students the opportunity to use their art to make an impact. We have become actively involved in NiceGate, attending and presenting at conferences on how to plan a successful STEAM night, exploring themes, activities, and new ideas. Most recently, we wrote and received a NiceGate grant, Engraving a Pathway to Innovation. This grant provided the funding to purchase a Glowforge laser engraver a revolutionary piece of equipment. We are now focusing on integrating our new engraver and processes across our curriculum with plans of future collaboration and creating products to utilize in our maker spaces. We'd also like to create fundraisers for our STEAM program. We are constantly seeking new ways to develop our program and inspire our students as they prepare for a life after high school. The Depew Music Department had an exciting year with the kickoff of the new digital music production class at DHS and multiple presentations throughout Western New York featuring STEAM in the music classroom. 
In December, Heather Lovelace, along with two DePew seniors, presented Steam Buffet at the New York State School Music Association Conference in Rochester. Mrs. Lovelace and the students demonstrated strategies to incorporate STEAM concepts into K-12 music, including general music and ensemble classes, to a packed room of music educators and music education students from across New York State. Participants were able to step into the role of the student with hands-on experiments creating instruments and visualizing sound using salt and oobleck. Everyone left with access to lesson plans and materials after this exciting workshop. Mrs. Lovelace and the students shared these experiments at the Western New York NiceGate Digital Pathways Conference. This brought our musical experiments to a whole new audience. Teachers in Western New York have noticed the innovative teaching happening in the DePew Music Department and have requested Mrs. Lovelace provide in-service training for the teachers of the Kenton District. Mrs. Lovelace and her students also created interactive music experiences for the district's STEAM celebration. Using Scratch and Makey Makeys, the students assisted participants in creating musical instruments with a variety of conductive materials, including Play-Doh and flowers. Digital music production students also created motion-activated instruments and musical portraits using Scratch. The digital music production course had a successful first year. Students created a wide range of music, learning production skills, proper technique, mixing, and video scoring. Nearly all of the students participated in the 2019 Technology and Music Education Electronic Music Competition. Eight students were awarded a bronze standard, five received a silver rating, and one student received a gold rating. All students received feedback from professionals and a subscription to a multimedia software. Jake McCluskey was a member of the inaugural DMP class. After taking digital music, Jake now feels that music production is a viable career path. He is hoping to take another level of DMP to prepare him for his future. This summer, Mrs. Lovelace attended the Audio Engineering Society's High School Audio Educators Conference at the University of Hartford Hart School of Music. While attending this conference, Mrs. Lovelace learned about various audio engineering technologies, both new and old. She was also introduced to many new career opportunities for our students, including acoustical engineering for musicians, potential positions at a microphone factory, and more. Mrs. Lovelace was excited to share these opportunities, including a summer camp for students interested in careers in music production, and High School Student Day at the AES Pro Audio Convention in New York City. She hopes that she can attend this conference in the future with her students. DMS will be incorporating more technology into general music this year. Music First was adopted as a curriculum resource and it incorporates digital audio workspaces similar to that which is used in the high school class. Students previously used the basic level of this software, but we are now fortunate to have a full cloud-based suite with built-in curriculum and projects that can be modified by our students. This exciting new tool can be used by our students both in and out of the classroom on their Chromebooks. Through embracing technology, our students are able to create more music and have more career options open to them. It is certainly an exciting time to grow in the music department at DePue.